Hey guys, it's Deej and I'm here playing Bless Unleashed and today I'm going to show you how to get quick and easy star seeds using maps. So it's a relatively easy method, maybe not many people know about it or don't really know the effectiveness of maps. Now, most people sell their map fragments on, most people get rid of them or dump them, but there is actually quite a lot of money to be made using maps and the fact that people get rid of them so easily is also a way for you to take advantage of the market. Now, at the time of this video, maps are super cheap and um, depending on where you get them some areas are quite expensive but the areas that you want to go to are quite cheap for now we'll see what happens when this video is uploaded but let's get into it so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the market unless you have them yourself but most of the time you're going to go to the market and you're going to buy karazakor Kar Kar treasure map fragments now the objective here is to okay it didn't take me to directly to them but i have them as a favorite for obvious reasons um, and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to buy them. Um, let's see here now. Where are they? There we go. So I have them favored. It didn't work. I'm going to filter by price. And we're going to buy all the 20 star seed maps here. So if you think that if I'm buying them 20 each, I'm going to buy them all actually while I'm here. If I'm buying them 20 each and eight fragments are used to make a full blown map, that is a hundred and sixty star seeds per map. Now, that's not much. And you sometimes the map prices do fluctuate. I've seen them go up to two hundred and back down to one even at some. Sometimes you have to watch the market and have them as a favorite at all times, just so you can get the the best price for your map fragments. You need eight for a map. I suggest buying as many as you can under the price of a hundred. Now, a hundred and under, I would say. Don't go any higher than that because the profit margins start to get a bit shaky at that point, depending on what you get. Um, but 100 is a safe bet, anything below that is a steal and you want 8 of these fragments I tend to buy a, a chunk of them in one go and go and run through all these maps now one of the things that you get from the maps is memory gems now I got the last 3 maps I did I got memory gem 2's and the price floor for them on the PS4 as of today is 1800 and they sell anywhere between 3000 and 2000 and it, it, the price of them fluctuates as well but they're in high demand and will always sell now if you don't want to sell them you can keep them and use them yourself. It's a cheap way of getting memory gems instead of constantly doing bosses all the time. But for this video, we're gonna be selling them. So the worst you can get, as far as I know, is the memory gem too, but you do get better memory gems as well, which multiply the price as well. So that's profit in and of itself. There are also other items you get along the way. You get potions, you get other crap. And if you go to the harder maps, you get more and more items and strong, uh, more powerful items as well. Now, one of the other things you can get. Now, this is not something you can bank on because it, it, it's so rare. The, the RNG in this game is unbelievable. I would not bank on, on getting a mount, but you can get specific mounts from these chests. And if you hit one, you get half a million star seeds because they're that rare that people are buying them on the market for their collection for half a million star seeds. Now this white warhorse is the one that comes in from the Caracasaur treasure map. I haven't got one. I'm not intending to get one. That's a lot of effort. Um, but as you can see there, the one sold today for 500,000. Yesterday there was none. The day before that there was none. And one sold for 1,060. 160,000, sorry. Um, so they do make you quite a lot of money. So if you get one of those, you're set. You're in a good place. Um, but I would not suggest going with the intention of getting one of these. But good luck. I hope you do. Um, so now that we've got our treasure map fragments, I've already got some myself. Um, so I'm not going to pick those up, but I bought them just to show you. What you want to do is you want to go down to the um, cartographer and let's check how many map fragments I have currently. So I've got 20, so I can do two runs. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to grab the cartographer, talk to her. Now this is really, really important when you're farming. I made this mistake myself numerous times. Each time you go to do the map, you must read it. The map here in Karakazor anyway is always in the same place. The location is always in the same place. So. It's literally right here, down the bottom right of the map. I don't know why the map's taking so long to zoom out, but it's down there in a, a, that forest down there. Um, but you have to read the map. Even if it's in your inventory, you have to read it before going down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport down here. I'm on the PS5, so this is gonna be really, really quick. Um, I'm gonna use gold to head down here. Now, I'm not the only one that does this, and early on in the game, a lot of people were doing this already. Um, but it's quietened down substantially, so you're, you, you can get lucky and get, get what you're looking for. Um, and you can see on the map there, there's a red X. And you want to run down here. There it is, already here. There's a pile is here. Now that I've got the map unlocked, I'm going to investigate this spot. 
This does despawn. When someone opens it, only one person gets it at a time. So I'm going to open this box. There you go. Memory gem, elixir of wellness. There's a few things I could sell there, but the main one is the memory gem. And now I head back again. Now you can't get multiple maps, unfortunately, because this would be too easy then. Um, but I'm going to head back here now again. This is a really quiet server. There's normally people there. Very strange. Um, I'm going to head back here now again. Got my memory gem. That's profit already. So I spent 160 on the soldier, sold for on the map fragments. I've now got a, 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 mem a gem that's worth 1,800. Minus the taxes is about 1,500, and I've made a profit of relatively around 1,300 just by doing that simple run there. Now, again, like I said, this isn't going to make you millions overnight. It's not. That's not the intention. But if you are looking for star seed specifically, and you just want to look for a farming method, this is it. So I'm going to, going to grab another map because it's relatively quiet. And again, remember, you've got to go in here, click consumables, treasure map. It's the same place again. I'm not sure if the other maps are like this because I haven't tested it with the other maps very much. Um, but this one in particular is always in the very same place. Now, the only thing that does stop you and makes it a bit difficult is that a giant does spawn down here. Um, just avoid him if you can. If you get in combat, it's very difficult to open up the pile. Um, but if you're careful, you can avoid that fight. Uh, there he is there. Just, oh, someone's there already. Look, someone's going to race me to it. It hasn't respawned yet. I seem to have gotten into combat, which is irritating. Um, and I might just world, world swap now because it is channel specific where these uh, where these mounds spawn. I'm not going to fight this guy because that's, that's stupid, it's going to take too long. Um, I'm going to jump out here and I'm going to switch channels to something else if I can. Or what I can do, I can be smart here, watch this. Um, because I'm in this, that um, epic union, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my invisibility. Still going to hit me, he usually does. Or he might walk away. Okay, he's walking away, great. So I use this, it's, uh, that's from the union, um, the one, the gathering union or whatever it is, uh, you can use invisibility or whatever it is, uh, camouflage, whatever you'd call it. So it's back now again, that's the respawn time, giant's coming for me, that's not good, that's going to mess things up, did it, no it didn't, and I'm going to open this box, there we go, memory gem 2 again, a few more potions, you do get gear, and I guess with the other maps you get better gear, um, but the other maps are substantially more but if you set them as your favorite, if you set whatever map you're looking for as your favorite, I guarantee you, you will get a good price map almost on a daily basis. As long as you set them as your favorite, catch them when they go low. Because all people want to do is get quick star seeds when they sell them, get rid of the maps. No one puts them up for stupid prices. But if you look on the market, I'll just quickly go here. This is this. So they're back up for 20 again. I mean, I might as well buy more. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to buy, buy those when, it, when it's done. Um, you go to crafting materials, if you don't have it in your favorites and crafting materials. And we've just pretty much made 3,000 star seeds just from that alone. And that was me while I'm talking, while I'm going through it. But if you want to go full blast on this really, really quickly, um, you can. But like I said, change channels. If there's a lot of people there or if it's despawned, change channels, swap channels, swap channels. Get what you're looking for and off you go. So you can see here the Navarra treasure map. Um, this one's generally more expensive, um, as you can see from the, the price average. So I wouldn't go for that one. Not a waste. I've seen that go very low. I got those for a couple of, uh, for 50, for 60 at times. And the rest of the maps, as you can see, people have bought the market out. But you can see the price floor for these is 20. So they do sell for 20. People just want to get rid of them. No one wants to go and do these map missions. Um, they're quite monotonous, but they're very lucrative if you spend the time on them. Um, and, and that's pretty much the idea. And obviously, if you get a white horse, let me know in the comments. I, I haven't actually seen anyone with one of these. Um, but they are there. They're in, in the they're in the, the loot with the loot table. Um, but I'm going to show you here just to prove. Um, the very bottom. It's this one here. Obtained from completing the Carcassor map fragment of finding the hidden treasure chest. Now, there's a numerous different ones you can get, um, but they're all in high demand because of their rarity. Simply because of their rarity. Um, and if you get one of those, I don't know what the other ones go for. I would imagine there's something similar, or even higher, because the Carcassor is the most commonly done map. Um, because uh, a lot of the new players sell their maps for quite cheap for, for low star seeds. And uh, it really is as simple as that. If you want to spend the time doing that run, do it. Um, I suggest, you know, spend it getting a lot of maps, maybe a hundred of them, and just getting in the swing of things, going back and forward, maybe have a chat with your friend in the background, whatever you want to do, um, and get these maps done, and eventually get um, the mount if you're lucky. So. That's pretty much it for me today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped you out, please leave a like. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos like this and other videos as well on my channel, um, so make sure you subscribe for that too. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.